As we live our lives, the lifestyle choices we make could contribute to the development of critical illness like heart attack, stroke, cancer, chronic liver disease, chronic lung disease, blindness, loss of hearing or deafness, major burns, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, benign brain tumor, other serious coronary artery diseases, and more. You disproportionately in this part of the world suffer from diabetes. Maybe our diet, maybe some environmental factor, but research is ongoing. It's estimated that perhaps up to 8 to 10 percent of the adult population is diabetic. Now, what does that mean? It means that the body is unable to control the amount of sugar flowing through the blood. And when the sugar is too high, it also damages the lining of the blood vessels that are, that are narrowed when uh, blood pressure goes up. So diabetes also affects the lining. So it's double trouble. One is reducing it, one is making the lining rough and uneven and not allowing blood to flow through it. So they both end at the same point. You know, the brain, the eyes, the kidneys, they're, they're, all, they're all damaged. The heart. All, all get damaged. For example, in the case of kidney disease, chronic kidney disease is at least three to four times more frequent in Africa than in developed countries. I'm concerned about the prevalence of critical illnesses in Nigeria, especially amongst the older population. Case in point is that of Uche Ogwo, who is somebody I've known for a few years. I've decided to pay him a visit at home. I was quite impressed to see that Uche was not uh, feeling helpless. He's chosen to fight. I am also impressed by the fact that he decided not to hide his condition. He came out, let people know what he was going through, and he used the opportunity to also educate quite a number of us about what we need to do to stay healthy and fit. I mean, I'd heard of the kidney function test in the past, but you know, just never bothered doing it. Everybody does all the regular tests, HIV, everything. But, you know, kidney function test is not something you ever think you should do. And so we went ahead on the 31st and did it. And all my levels were out of this world. The creatinine, the urea especially, had hit the ceiling. In fact, at that point in time, the doctor said, look, you know what, you're nothing but a walking corpse. I felt that was a bit too harsh, but that was also a reality that, you know, I had gone overboard with everything. And so the nightmare now started that day. Hypertension affects approximately 25% of the adult population and is the cause of chronic kidney failure in 21% of patients on renal replacement therapy. We are working on a product in ICO Insurance to help people manage these situations if they find um, themselves within this situation. This product will help them preserve their dignity I encourage people, more importantly, to be open about this. Cancer is not something to be hidden. Kidney failure is not something to be hidden. Hypertension, diabetes is not something to be hidden. These are facts of life. Remember, it could happen to anyone.